might have missed one, but I did catch up a little bit. And I only say that because I was at like five minutes behind time. Now I'm at what, whatever. I should be about 39. Now I'm at 36. Um, so I'm only three minutes behind time. So these ones, by the way, the, the passage A, what we're going to do when we see the A's and the B passages, we're going to read A, then we're going to complete A passages for A. Let me just see if anybody has any questions. No questions yet, guys. Again, if you do have questions for those that are just joining us, because I see that there's a number of you that are coming online just joining us, please make sure that you post those in the live chat. Okay, um, but passage A, passage B questions. I'll show you how to, uh, to do these, but by and large, right, we're going to try to do all of passage A first, then do the questions for A, then all of passage B, and I'll show you where that, that kind of cutoff tends to happen, right? So the brains of humans are conspicuously larger than the brains of other apes. We need specific genetic type of genes. New question. Humans for the chance to become directly a third of human size. The human gene has been around for 15 million changes. Six years ago, science was gene called this for the genus. What are the decisions regarding when and how many neurons to make? I don't know what this is talking about, right, guys? So I'm just trying not to get too overwhelmed by all these numbers. Just it, that part isn't going to matter. They're not going to ask you something really specific. Thumbs up, guys, if this makes sense. They're not going to ask you something really specific about not to CH2 NL. So, again, thumbs up. That's not going to matter, right? Just replace that with another word. It's great to be located in chromosome 1 near a region like the human brain. Thanks for the reading. Thanks so much for coming. Okay. Seem to be a dud. Okay, so this once promising candidate seemed to be a dud, right? Not good. A dud is not good. It wasn't in the it wasn't in the region that they needed it to be. We were downhearted. That all changed with the next birth. We've been in version 38. In this iteration. Previously, we were in the same region. Every case in the genome would cause a series of genetic accidents. So this is saying that it, that the not in version thirty seven of you know of the times that it's multiplied. How many times did they say that it's gone? Gone uh, million right? Was it millions? Fifteen million changes. So there's some ver right some version of this. Is that means played a role in beefing up? Beefing up means getting bigger, right? Beefing up human brain size. Okay, so let's see what does the indicate true of the human genome it's under a large number of changes over time. Hopefully that was pretty clear, right, with 15 million times. So I think it could be A is nearly tripled in size in the last few million years. No, it was not until, that was when it started. It contains many more genes in the genomes of non humans I don't think it's many more, many more, right? It's three. It retains only a few of the genes. Of, no, it's not. I think it's A. It's gone through a large number of changes. 15 million, I think, was the number. Based on passage one, what concept most interests in initial interests? Uh, what was the reason? It was they knew it was central to early brain development, vital decisions. So I think probably something with vital decisions, right? Multiple species. No, it wasn't. It wasn't that gene, single gene type. Gene typically is very functions where it was located. I don't think so. Uh, maybe D. I think that's just getting at the point that if they're related to one another, they so that they were talking about it as making vital decisions, right? And I think that has to do with it. Does everybody remember that? Am I crazy? Does everybody remember when they talked about? And I didn't even know, right? But they said uh, located. What scientists knew was central. Does everybody remember that, guys? Like right here, controls vital decisions. Is that one of the line numbers? Yeah, so right there. This is a great example, guys. Is I, I went back and I tried to answer number 22 before answering 23. Okay, again, thumbs up. That's a really helpful hint for all of you, but that it can be very helpful in the sense that you're then not thinking about the line numbers. What happens so often on these evidence-based questions 
is that we start thinking about the line numbers. Again, I'm, I'm making the assumption that those are right, but hopefully they are. It seems to make sense that those would be right. Um, because they, right, it discusses that. But, but again, as you guys go through this, you want to continue to be thinking about this idea that, that um, you know, how do you get to a point where you can answer 22 before answering 23, and then 23 becomes pretty easy because you're already looking there for the answer to 22, right? You, it's more of like a confirmation on that sense. Okay, so then it says, which choice best describes passage number two? Guys, as we go through passage two, we got to be thinking to ourselves, right? We got to be thinking... Okay, sorry, I was looking for it. Um, as we go through passage number two, or when we see passage number two in the questions, that's our cue to go back and read passage number two. Again, that's a huge, if you don't do that already, please make sure that you do that going forward, because you can answer those first three questions without having passage two be any effect on you. You don't have to read them all at the same time. Okay, and that can really help with your timing. All right, so passage two, modern humans. Jane, welcome, thanks for the thumbs up. If you have any questions, guys, anybody that's logging on, watching uh, live, please make sure you answer those. If you're watching the recording, please make sure that you pause at any point and ask questions in the comment section. One of our teachers or tutors or potentially another student will, will definitely respond to those questions. Modern humans have brains that are more than three times larger than our closest living relatives and siblings. Scientists don't agree on when and how this money can take place. For new nests of 94 hominin fossils show that average brain size increases during the the past two million years. Evolution of larger brains and five generations with the restriction of new larger brain species. Extinction of smaller brain ones also plays a part. Okay. Um, Astroprolificus, right? Lucy, I think, was was, was a famous uh, Astroprolificus, right? They found the fossil record from the Homo erectus. Overlap with that amount of human. So Homo erectus 5,000 years ago was when it began to over, overlap. Flea level. The group sustains the Average brain size increased gradually over time. Okay, so this one's basically saying that it doesn't seem like it's a gene, right? It contributes to the clad level pattern. What was that again? Sorry. You said that when the species were kind of like groups the same. Okay, so it just keep kept going, right? With my the way you really bulk up. Okay, so cut the so recruit larger. Okay, which of the choice from brain surgery may help answer an important question in the realm beyond evolutionary biology? Um, beyond evolution. In realms beyond, the brain size research may help answer questions. So let me just go back here. I'm going to reread 47 through 72 and just see if I can answer that. Does guys, does everybody see what I'm trying to do here, guys? As we go back here. From wait, four volumes of ninety-four being the earliest unambiguous human ancestors. I'm really evolutionary larger than the latest of new larger brain species. I think it should be in those lines, right? What are those lines? I don't know, guys. This one's hard. It's definitely not A and B. I think it's later. I think it's one of these two. I'm going to come back to that one again. Don't spend too much time, right? Because we can always make that time back up on other questions. So let's see. 25 asks us about 53. Trend in 53. So 
it was that the trend was caused, right? So trend, I think in that case is just the typical idea of trend, the, the progression, right? Everybody see that, right? So if you start to define the word before, that seems like a pretty straightforward one. Main purpose of the fifth paragraph of passage two, 73 through 81. Three million users. Okay, so seventy-three. Per term introduced. Look at the original objectives. Make the conclusions. I think it's right. If anybody thinks summarize right, because it says the research found. Anybody have any questions on that? We're running behind time. It's like twenty-five and a half minutes. Context of passage two. The references. The football coach mainly serves to create a humorous image and the establishment of the streets of pattern given to observe in the study. Probably that one. I don't think it's humorous. Maybe though, right? It could be humorous. I don't, but I don't think that's too div, too. So just that team they may offer unexpected. Ah, uh, no. I think it's B. I think twenty seven is more straightforward than I'm trying to make it. Describe the key difference between the passages. It refers only to data derived from computer simulations. It wasn't right. This one wasn't computer simulations for passage one. That one immediately stands out as a no go. Addresses genetic analysis of the brains of human answers to the limit. No, I think they're both right. Primate, maybe multiple. No, it's not multiple. What is the issue with the generation? No, it's a small scale generation. It's brain evolution. I think it's D. Right, small scale genetic changes is that one gene. Anybody remember that, right? Both state that the modern human brain is about three times larger than the brains of. I think it was chimpanzees, wasn't it? I don't know why I'm going back here. I shouldn't have to, but. Uh, chimps, yeah, chimpanzees. That's one I should have remembered, guys. Definitely B. Anybody else see that one? I do that in passage. Obvious is close to me, which is the following. Obvious. Passage 2, line 58. What are they talking about? i got to make up some serious time. Familiar evolution. This is one of the most obvious traits that makes us human. It's one of the most like repeated, maybe. Is that one of the words? One of the most relevant. I mean, one of the most relevant. It's got to be C, right? I guess we might have to come back down because that's time, very right? time efficient. It's time to go next. Okay, we're on to the next one. Okay, give me one second. Now that I didn't realize we were moving on to the last part of Notorious, conspicuously, notoriously, it might be A. It's either A or C. I'm not, not, it's not repeatedly now, it's not vital. I'm gonna come back, it could be C. So I'm just gonna highlight that one then. Right?